Back with head coach Mickey Dean as we're previewing the 2016 Jamie softball season. We previewed already the utility players. Now we're going to get into the outfield. And, and Coach, why don't you t just t take us uh, down the makeup of the position of your three outfielders? Well, you know, uh, right now we have some great battles going on because, uh, you, you know, you have, you have Cassie Brammer, who last year had won the center field position and then got hurt, and she was out for the year. Uh, and she has come back and done a great job for us uh, as a, as a left-handed outfielder playing center field. She goes back on the ball as well as any player I've ever coached, and that's at any level. I mean, she, she, she can just go get it. Uh, and then we're able to take Taylor and move her to right field where she, I, you know, I tell our coaching staff she has the potential in right field to be an All-American with her offensive stats and the jumps that she gets in right field. Uh, it's just a natural position for her. And then in left field right now, we have Hannah Hayes. And, and you know, Hannah has spent so much extra time working on left field. And she looks a natural. You know, she looks natural out there. Uh, so we've been very impressed with, with not just her playing and her, what she's done, but very impressed with the amount of time that she has put in in that position. Um, and then we have two players that are just really pushing the others, and that's uh, Tolly Moore, who, of course, started for us last year. Uh, but, you know, Tolly's a gamer, as I said before when, when we were talking about utility. Uh, she's a gamer. So, uh, you know, three, four weeks into the season, it's going to be interesting because uh, she, she hits the ball well. And then we have Casey Hill, who has really turned it on swinging the bat well and really has improved you know, at that left field position. She, she seems to have uh, grasped the left field position rather than the other two. So we're looking at her to fill some time there. And then we have some younger kids in um, uh, Grace Sanderson and Savannah Wood who have strictly worked in the outfield since we've been uh, in practice. And they've done a nice job of adapting and and learning the position. It's more than just running out and catching the ball and throwing it back in. It's, it's learning the game. And so they've done a nice job of that. And then we've moved some other people in the outfield to give them an opportunity uh, to, to challenge. And that's Jessica Morozak and Ashley Samuels and Alyssa Buttle. Uh, they swing the bat extremely well. And as I tell them all the time, the way you get in their lineup is you swing the bat. And so you can't have great hitters sitting in the line, sitting on the bench. So so they have gone to the outfield and they're learning the outfield. Uh, and rather than just being a DP, they're trying to win that position. How good of a problem is it uh, for you guys as a coaching staff to to have all these battles going on, have all these girls fighting for position, and knowing that you still have all three of your starters back this year? Right. And 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 you know, if I were a player, for me, it makes it exciting because I can come out every day and challenge. Uh, and then, you know, if we're in a scrimmage situation, my name's called to go to that position, you know, I win for the day, but the, tomorrow it could be someone else's name. So it's, it's, it, it's a challenging to them, but it also makes it exciting to come out and know that, you know, if I do the work, I'm going to get the opportunity. Uh, so they have really, rather than it being a burden or stressful, they've really embraced uh, the excitement of I got to go to work every day. Talk about the work uh, you guys have done with your outfielders in terms of arm strength and accuracy. Uh, so they're in, in really good shape uh, once we hit the start of the season. Yeah, we do a lot of long toss. You know, we do long toss about three times a week. And then uh, we do some target throwing where uh, we'll set a cone or something at a base. And we, rather than throwing to the base, we try to long hop. Uh, as we know, the infielders work on catching the ball on the ground. So we try to tell our outfielders long hops are good for our infielders. They're easy. Uh, and uh, so we've done a lot of that. And then finally, just talk about what, what do you see as the strengths uh, to your outfield core this season? Uh, I would say that their communication with each other. They've gotten to know each other extremely well. Uh, we got a lot of reps in uh, game-like situations in the fall with a lot of different people. And they're starting to get extremely comfortable with each other. And what that allows them to do is to talk about the play before it ever happens. You know, we talk to our outfielders, you already know where you're going with the ball. 
you know exactly where you're going with the ball unless you bobble it or unless it gets by you. And we've done a much better job of just relaxing, coming up, and throwing the ball where it needs to be going, uh, needs to go. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. Uh, coming up in our next edition, it'll be the infielders preview. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.